All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Akeem, and welcome to this vlog. Here to give you a football preview on the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets for the 2016 college football season. Now, last year, Paul Johnson and company had a terrible year going in 3-9 and nine overall, especially when they came off of a great 2014 season, capping off with a big old Orange Bowl victory over Mississippi State. Last season, they had a terrible year, and I had high expectations for the Yellow Jackets because of the triple option threat in running the football, one of the nation's top running teams. Now, this year, I think they're going to try to rebound back from their horrific um, season last year, and I think they're going to do just fine. Now, starting at quarterback in Justin Thomas, he needs to actually step it up. Compared to uh, 2014, he only uh, rushed for just over 400 yards this past season, and while he was throwing the football, he had 12 touchdown passes to, I believe, 8 interceptions. Numbers weren't looking too well as throwing the football, but I think, I think this is going to be a year they're going to try to regroup and rebound from what they had a bad year last season. Now, players that he's going to have around him is starting off with their leading rusher and Marcus Mark. Uh, Marcus Marshall, who did lead the team with 654 yards receiving, um, rushing um, the football, and let's not forget about Clinton um, Lynch. They pretty much use a bunch, a group of running backs, um, as well as um, sometimes quarterbacks, but mainly running backs all around on um, running the football, so they use fresh legs in that triple option threat. So I do like that about Paul Johnson, giving plenty of people opportunity to run the football, but I think that this is uh, Marcus uh, Marshall's going to be getting more of the bulk of the carries, but he will split time with uh, Clinton Lynch and of course Justin Thomas is going to be leading the way at quarterback and he does have the return of his top wide receiver and Ricky June who did lead the team with over uh, 500 yards receiving last season now on the defensive side they don't really have any big names that I like on um, entering this upcoming season I think they really need to do a better job defensively I think they, they can use some good leadership on the defensive side so I'm going to be looking at PJ Daniels a senior as well as Rod Patrick Rook, who needs to be stepping up, and Patrick Gamble to be the give that senior leadership in the front seven or for the defense uh, uh, um, um, side of the field. I think they're going to be just fine this upcoming season. I think they're, they're going to do better. Not, um, I don't believe that they're going to be the um, Coastal Division champs. But anything can happen, though. And they do have a pretty um, interesting schedule this upcoming season. The first three games against Boston College, Mercer, and Vanderbilt, I do believe that they're going to win those matches. But this is going to be a tough matchup in, on the, uh, September 22nd against Clemson, who is the favorite to win, again, the ACC championship. Then they have Miami in Pittsburgh in the next couple weeks on October 1st and October 8th. And then they have a, a, a couple of um, showdowns on um, um, on the road between North Carolina and Virginia Tech, respectively North Carolina on November 5th and Virginia Tech on November the 12th. So this is going to be a tough break for them. It's going to be interesting. I don't think they're going to win the Coastal Division, but they will keep it a tight race. I have this team going 7-5 and five this season. I think they're going to do a better job running the football, protecting the football. I think they're going to be just fine this upcoming season, but not good enough to make it to the ACC Championship. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys from being just a couple of minutes, I have five more blogs for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Keen McCall. Be easy.